All right, so here we have a quick description of methods of temperature control uh, and then our light dimming project and how they relate. So our first method there is just simply a feedback loop where your uh, controller measures temperature. When it's below a certain set point, it turns on, and when it's above a set point, it turns off, which leads to temperature oscillation. A uh, better method of temperature control is method number two using a 100 AC uh, duty cycle, which is 100 cycles of AC equals one control cycle. So 50% on would equal 50 AC cycles on and 50 off. A 25% uh, duty cycle equals 25 cycles on, 75 off. Um, duty cycle can be maintained to, uh, can be adjusted to maintain constant temperature. So it's more precise than method number one. However, the downside is this does not work for our dimming project because one AC cycle equals 16.7 milliseconds. So one control cycle equals 100 AC cycles or 1.667 seconds, which we are definitely going to see uh, strobing in the bulb. Uh, so great for temperature control, not so much for controlling the bulb. So I came up with three different methods. The top method, which did not work at all, uh, it simply delivered an on bulb, uh, was simply to adjust the width of the on time centered on the peaks of the AC cycle. So I have two pulses per AC cycle here. Um, and it would just adjust this pulse width right there, uh, make it narrower or wider uh, to increase voltage. But I had really bad control with that. So. On to method number two, which is using a phase shift or shifting the pulse off peak. So in this case, uh, I kept the pulse width constant at an eighth of a wavelength or an eighth of a cycle, excuse me. Um, so first, uh, it's on center. And then as you adjust the power downward, it moves it off center and out of phase to grab a lower voltage portion of that cycle. And what I found is this worked really well with the incandescent bulb, not so much with the LED. Still got some strobing off of this method with the LED bulb because it has some internal electronics. So better control on the LED gave me method number three, which is two, uh, using two pulses per AC cycle. So what you'll see is two pulses on the AC cycle, uh, each half cycle, so four pulses total during the AC uh, cycle. So the way to increase power is to reduce this gap here, moving those pulses closer together and thus delivering higher voltage pulses and lower power by moving them apart to the lower portions. Uh, and that gave me really good precision control um, with an LED bulb, but on the incandescent this did not work at all. So I have the microcontroller programmed in two modes one for the incandescent bulb and one for the uh, the LED bulb. And then now we'll be able to go see how each of those uh, works on the two different bulbs. Here we have a, an, a simulation of the uh, circuit before uh, on TI's uh, downloadable SPICE simulator, TINA. So VM three and VM four right here are each of the half cycles that the microcontroller is reading. Uh, and this is a voltage reduction circuit right here to, uh, since the microcontroller can only read a maximum of positive zero to positive three volts. So I had to use a two half wave rectifiers here and here with two outputs, each reading positive voltage, one for each half of the cycle. So what you get this is what the microcontroller is actually seeing on two different uh, measurement channels. And what it's using to trigger off of is right here where these two cross is the uh, where your AC cycle hits zero, uh, which are your nodes. Um, so it's really looking to take one minus the other. And when those two add up to zero or uh, subtract to zero, that's how it knows where it's at in the AC cycle. So if I go over here, um, you can see right here, this represents the output of the, with the, uh, or sorry, this right here represents the output of the microcontroller to the solid state relay. 
and then in this case the resistor would represent the bulb in the schematic. Alright, so here we're going to start with the LED bulb and we'll give it an initial set point of 5 and we'll see that it starts dimming and then I'm just going to slowly start incrementing the power and we can start to see that LED get brighter. Now we're going to do the same thing, but as we can see here, it is an incandescent. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Fifty. 